Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update exclusively for pro members. Today's Friday, September 25th. Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Uh, taking a look at the S&P 500 to start. Uh, obviously a nice big update today. S&P's up 50. Uh, the Dow is up 343, NASDAQ up 250, Russell up 21. So a nice little bounce today. Uh, I don't think we're done with the downside. We had this one big push, a little bit of a bounce, another push. I think we have at least one more flush. I don't really think that, um, I don't think the market's crashing. I don't, I don't, I don't know that we'll get back down here to these lows, uh, but sure, I mean, certainly could. I just think uh, just as a kind of a healthy pullback, we'll have one more flush lower um, and then we'll see from there. But uh, nice little bounce today, having some good two-sided action, making for some, Good trading overall in our portfolio, some good day trading. Uh, and with that, let's actually start there and talk about our day trading. Today was actually a little bit of a, a, a red day, a, a bad day ending the week. If you want to check out today's video recap and more detail about the trades, we posted our day trading recap in the Facebook group. So you can just go there to check it out. But just to recap, um, Mighty 90 minus 1500 for the week. So not a great week in the Mighty 90. Just did a couple pairs trades, minus 134 in pairs trades. <clears throat> Runners up 2400 for the week. So total P&L for the week with the day trades 773. Uh, not as great as the last few weeks, but still positive. So we're going to keep that dream alive and keep it running. We will be coming out with our runner strategy class here in the next few weeks. So look for that, just kind of finalizing details. And then we'll let you know exactly when, uh, when that's happening. So look forward to that. Overall, for the last four weeks, since we've been breaking down our trades into the different strategies up almost $15,000. So still doing very well. Um, had a big mistake in Nikola today that, that really brought this down about 1200 bucks, 1100 bucks. So uh, you can learn more about that in the day trading recap. But let's jump over to the alerts and jump into our core portfolio here. Starting with on Monday, did a closing adjusting trade in gold. So we had a remaining call vertical side on of our iron condor. Got down to just three days to expiration. Uh, it came back in nicely, booked over 40% of max profit on that iron condor overall. Had another trade in gold here coming up, so I'll go to the platform when I get to that. Uh, rolling adjusting trade in ES. So this is a long put vertical. And so there's the closing bell. Uh, the long put vertical, we've been rolling as this market's been going lower to keep that short delta in our portfolio. We've been just rolling down our, our short strategies. We're over 50% of max profit on this piece. So we just rolled those strikes down and rolled it out. So we are at 39 days to expiration and rolled it out to 60 in this case. So let's take a look at ES. ES. So we've still got the two different verticals on an ES. So this is the one that we just rolled. It's pretty close to where we put it on here or to where we rolled it. The other one that we've got is in this cycle here and we're up about, about 280, about 200 bucks since we did that last roll. So we've got some more room to roam to the downside if we do get that additional flush that I was talking about. Next trade in Apple, rolling adjusting trade in Apple. So same thing, long put vertical, uh, just rolling that from 32 days to 60. Again, we were over 50% of max profit on that piece. So we just continue to roll that down, keep that short delta in our portfolio. If we look at Apple, Apple's up over almost 4% today. So after that roll, prices moved up on us out of range. Uh, but, so we still need some downside action to get back into range there. Next trade, QQQ. So this was a bunker that we had in November. So we're getting down to that 60 days to expiration uh, in November. And so we went ahead and just closed this one out, took a small loser in that one, never really got the downside in, in that period that we needed to, uh, to get out of a, uh, with a profit on that one. So we just closed it out. XLK, long put vertical, so similar situation, just rolling these down, over 50% of max profit, so just rolling it down, rolled from October to November. So let's take a look at XLK. We've got a couple pieces in XLK. Here's the long put vertical. You can see price moved up today, so just at a range. We've also got a long put. Uh, we're up about, well, with today's up move, only up about 180 bucks. Um, we're gonna hold this for that, for that 
next flush that we're looking for. Trying to get out of this with at least a 50, some 50 to 100% profit. We're in capital used in this about 1245. So we, if we can get out for seven, eight thousand bucks, that's what we're looking for out of this trade. And then we've also got a bunker that's up a little bit of money here. So again, holding this, if we get that one more flush down, we'll, uh, we'll book that one as well. Next trade, SPX. So we did a weekly double calendar in SPX. So this is one that we put on earlier this week, which is three days to expiration. Took this off today and booked a winner of 300 and some dollars on that. We ended up putting on another SPX weekly double calendar today that I'll get to here in just a minute. Uh, we also put on an, uh, a long call in XBI. Now we don't do a lot of long calls uh, in ETFs or kind of for, for this type of duration. But let's take a look at why. Let's go to the charts and take a look at XBI. The reason we, we did this, I, I looked at doing a vertical, but I just didn't like the risk reward that we got. Uh, with, the, with the rest of the market you know, kind of flushing, XBI has been pretty strong. And so you can see I made this big push higher, started to pull back. And so we wanted to just kind of balance out our portfolio uh, it's not that we were leaning too short, but I just thought, you know, if anything, XBI is going to be uh, continue have continued strength, even if the market does continue to get weak. And it did flush down a little bit against us, but now it's starting to bounce back. So I'm looking for a continuation higher in XBI. So if we look at where that trade is now, it's pretty close to where we put it on. We're down about 50 bucks. Uh, just looking for some upside, upside swing in XBI. Next trade, GC. So this is opening adjusting trade where we added another iron condor in gold. This one with 34 days to expiration. So let's take a look at our gold positions. We've got two different pieces on. This is this is the one that we had on be already had on, and you can see prices hanging out right here at the break even. It actually came through and breached it. I mentioned this in the commentary in the community, but if we look at just the the untested side, the call side, we still have a decent amount of premium left in those. So I, I have not closed that out yet. If price continues lower and we get some theta decay, I will close that out and we'll just see if we can get a bounce back on the put vertical. The other one that we just that I just mentioned from the alert is right here. So it's, it's dead centered. So we just layered on another iron condor, widen out our break evens, collect another credit and, and try to continue to manage our gold trade. Next piece, opening adjusting trade in SPY. So we added an iron condor and then we closed one out. Uh, closed one out. No, we did not close it out. I'm sorry. Yeah, so we added this iron condor. I was going to close the other one out, and then we got a, a quick downdraft in SPY in the market. So I did not. Now, and so then I forgot. I decided to wait until next week. So here's the one that we just put on. This one's out in November. We still have our October one on. Uh, we are close to, actually, we're a little over 40% of max profit, and then the market just flushed on us, so we never had a chance. I looked at it today, and, and we're back there because of this up move today, but I just wanted to hold it over the weekend, see if we can squeeze a little bit more out of this, but we'll look to close this early on Monday and hopefully book, at this point, over 50% of max profit on this one, on this piece. Next trade, SPX. So here's where we opened an iron duck in SPX with a big down move in the market. We went ahead and jumped in with an iron duck in SPX. So let's take a look at that. We've got two different iron ducks in SPX. That's our weekly double calendar that will, uh, the, the alert will come up here in a second. So we might as well just talk about it now. So uh, prices moved up today after we put this on, uh, still well within range. And uh, we'll look to take that off uh, next week on Thursday or Friday. If we take a look at the iron duck situation, let's click off these. So here's one of the iron ducks. You can see prices right here approaching the duck head. So if we can get into the duck head nice next week, possibility of hitting a max profit of 605 on that one. And then the other one that we have here is right here. Make sure I'm clicking on the right ones. Right there. So this is the newest one we put on. So after today's up move, it's kind of run up the beak. We're up about 90 bucks on it, but got plenty of time and, and a possibility if we get a big down flush still to get back down to the duck head. So that's the plan on our SPX ducks. 
Uh, there's an XPS, X, SPX duck that we let reti uh, expire, excuse me, not retire, uh, actually booked a full uh, 635 max profit, uh, full duck head on this one. So that was a nice trade. It'd been a while since we got a duck head. So that was nice. Uh, DIA rolling adjusting. So this is a, another one of our uh, short verticals. So this is a short call vertical. We we're over 50% of max profit in this. So just rolling out to the next uh, uh, cycle, extending duration, keeping that short delta in our portfolio. So let's look at DIA. We shedded one of these uh, last week. So we've just got the one on. Um, if we, if we open next week, uh, if the market opens up, I'll, I may add another one back in just to add some more short delta to our portfolio. But for now, we just have this one. It's hanging out right near our break even, just looking for some downside to benefit that piece. IWM closing trade. So we had a, another November bunker that was you know, a little past that 60 days to expiration. So we needed to close it. Uh, got a nice, nice little down move uh, at that point on yester uh, yesterday, and so we ended up closing it out for a small profit. SPX weekly double calendar. So here's the one I mentioned earlier, booked a few hundred dollars on this one, closed that out. Uh, here's the SPX weekly double calendar that I just showed you. And then IWM uh, rolling adjusting trade. So another long put vertical that we're over 50% of max profit on, just rolled that from October to November, rolled our strikes down. And so let's take a look at IWM. So this is the, this is, yeah, this is it right here. So I rolled it, it's pretty close to where we rolled it to. We've got one other one in this weekly cycle. You can see we're not quite at 50% of max profit, but if we get another flush down next week, we will roll that one as well. Uh, or we might, you know, if we do get another big flush down, kind of that third flush I've been talking about, we may start to actually lighten up on our short delta, uh, but we'll see where we're at with everything at that point. We've also got a bunker in December uh, that's up a little bit of money. So looking for some downside action to benefit that one as well. So those are all the alerts. Let's take a look at some of our other positions. I mentioned ES, I mentioned gold. Natty Gas down 3% today. We're up about 466. Price was way down here. It really rallied hard towards the end of the week here on this adjusted short strangle, but looking for some more downside. And then um, we've got about, you know, we've got 32 days. So we've got plenty of time on this. Hopefully we get a little bit of downside action next week. And then, um, you know, in the next, or in the next couple weeks, and then we can look to, to roll that and lock in that credit. ZB, uh, this is, this is one where we're getting close to a point where we want to roll out. We're not down to 21 days to expiration. We're at 28, but next week we'll be rolling this for sure. Uh, rolling out to December with, which currently has 56 days. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, price maybe moves up a little bit. That would be the best. And then if it's dead centered here, we'll, we'll go ahead and roll that. I mentioned Apple DE still holding this for that short Delta exposure, just out of range, looking for some downside to benefit that. Uh, SMH. So this is one we're going to roll next week as well. So price was before this big rally today, price was down here and I was wanting some more theta decay, wanting a potential little up move before I did anything. So this, we'll roll this one on Monday. We're at 21 days today, but I just wanted to give it over the weekend, uh, potentially get a little bit more theta decay before we roll that out to November. I mentioned SPY, XBI, uh, oh, well, I mentioned the I mentioned the call in XBI. I didn't talk about the short strangle, which has been adjusted into a straddle. This is another one that's got 21 days to expiration. So again, just giving it over the weekend, and then we'll roll that out early next week to no uh, to the November cycle to keep that going. Uh, and then XLK, we've got a bunker in XLK. We've got a uh, short, or excuse me, a long put vertical, and then we've also got a long put. We're up about, like I said, a couple hundred bucks on that one. So just looking for a little bit more of a down flush before we do anything there. So those are all our positions. Those are all the alerts. That's our recap. Everybody have a fantastic weekend. We'll be back trading live for the day trading in the morning, 8.30 to 10 a.m. Central. If you haven't joined us, make sure you check that out. We're having a good time booking some profits. And I uh, look forward to seeing you there. Everybody have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.